Any regrets about relocating to Rimini? Well, Italians know the easiest. At first you struggle with the language, but the locals are very patient with you. And there's a lot of Scots and Brits out here, so you don't get lonely. Oh, that's good. I'm that happy for you. Is there anything you miss? Occasionally you miss odd things like tea bags or a tin of Baxter soup. But we've long since sorted that. There's some Robin comes out at least once a month and he brings us all those provisions that we miss. Oh, well, thank God for big stupid Robin, eh? Running about like a daft lassie after he's mowing da. <laughs> the restaurants are that cheap that you can eat out. <laughs> we never use the cooker now. <laughs> <laughs> the cooker's never on. I am the same. I just cook everything in the microwave like a bastard and astronaut. I don't want to sound smug, but when November comes, we really don't miss the Scottish rain. <laughs> we all due respect to the people back home. They do not know what they're missing. We all due respect, sweetheart. Stick it up your arse. <laughs> well, I'd say get yourself... Got my own wee bit of Italy right here. <laughs> Bon appetit. <laughs> well, that changes your view right enough. I remember when they built that tower block, now they're pulling it down. <laughs> Shower of arseholes. Who? Architects. Oh. I mean, who needs a balcony 24 up, eh? A balcony be Christ. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can see the church now. Can you? I see. I can I see. Oh, these are garbage. Uh, Hold on, I've got another set in here somewhere. Hey, what? what did you say? Nothing. I thought you said something. Who's that? Oh, aye, that's me now. Oh, that's something. Oh, I can see David. He's pointing up at our building. Give him a wave. He'll not wave back. He'll not see us. He's not got binoculars, has he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you mind they pulled down that row of houses behind Winston's? They'd only been standing 11 years. Behind Winston's? I was offered one of them. Are you? Aye, it was a, a Swiss guy or a Swedish guy that designed them, aye. Flat roofs. <laughs> All right for Algeria, but not for here. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Bunch of wankers, eh? <laughs> Where is it you live, sir? A freezing cold, wet and windy country. There's a house made out of paper mache for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to put all your windies in with plasticine. <laughs> Hello? Hi, it's Isa. I calm down, woman. Jesus. <laughs> right, Tam. What's this? To Kitty for Huey's widow. Oh no, no me, Victor. Come on, get your hand in your pocket. No, and I'll tell you why. Because you're a dirty, miserable shite, that's why. Right. No. <laughs> That man had died of a heart attack or ran out of a bus or shot even. I'd have chipped in. But diving out a building? Oh, I know it's harsh, but suicide doesn't merit a kitty. <coughs> Tam, whatever happened to it, I don't know. I left my wallet in Mother Trousers, so I don't draw my pension till Thursday. Suicide doesn't merit a kitty. It's not about him anymore, is it? It's about his poor wife. She's left to deal with it all. What's she called again? Ella. Oh, Ella. That's right. Eh? Sherry, please, Bobby. He's a pie and beans, Bobby. And a whiskey. Have you heard? What? About Huey Casey, aye. Terrible business, isn't it? You think? I think he's done himself a favour, if you ask me. Come on, you, Winston. You can't say Ugh, that. He's peace-iser. His worries are over. I would date myself if I didn't only live one up. Oh, well, I can see the good. You're a good boy, man. Look, Huey Casey was a nice fella. But it's this place, isn't it? Well, the Klansman, aye. It does get you. No. Craig Lang. He's took one look at this place and he's went, pfft, nah. See if he was a Red Indian. Nobody would be bothering their arse. The long walk, they call it. It's not a big deal to them. No shame in it at all. To Huey. There's your pie and beans dances with one leg. <laughs> <laughs> Stick it up your ass. Jesus, what's eating now? I don't think Winston was far off the mark. I knew Huey well. He didn't even want to retire. It was all about the job. Chauffeuring for 40 years. People relying on it to be there. Then, no longer required. 
That's a lot for some folk to take. He said to me before, I don't know what'll do when this is all done. Sitting in Audi every day with Ella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, Jack, she's not oil painting. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's terrible. She's a double of Ken Dodd. Hey, <laughs> Tom, that's enough. Eyes up. Aye, she does have a look of Ken Dodd. I mean, the boys get called the Diddy Men at school. Well, well, well. Where are you going with that pie, Kima Sabi? Winston's pie. Back into the fridge, Tam, until such times as a customer wants to pay for one. Now, that's been heated. You can't reheat that. That's health and safety. 150. 50. A pound. Deal. Guys, uh, we've never even met this woman. Can you not just give the money? Aye, and then we'll see you in a pub later. Look, you have done a nice thing here, having a whip room. The least you can do is hand the money in yourselves. Anyway, it's good for her to know she's got neighbours run about her. <laughs> oh, hi, sir. Hello, Hen. I was just doing a bit of dust and take my mind off things. This is Jack and Victor. And you, Huey. Would you like to come in? <laughs> well, we're sorry to hear that uh, Huey was dead. He did. That's good of you, Jack. He often mentioned this. Did he? Um, <laughs> did he? <laughs> The boys have all put together in the... Ach, it's no much, but there you go. It's a lovely gesture. And much appreciate it. Must have been an awful shock. Well, it was just the way it happened. So quick. He parked his car, came up the stairs. I went into the kitchen to get him a cuppa. When I come out... He'd done it. <laughs> oh, that phone. Wish I could get peace for it. Why don't you just turn it off? Oh, it's his chauffeur phone. That'll, that'll be his boss. And I, I don't know what to say to him. Now, you listen to me, sweetheart. Calm down. Don't concern yourself with this anymore. The next time this phone goes, we'll get it. I'll explain to him what's happened to Huey and everything's going to be absolutely fine. Oh. <laughs> Huey Casey's phone, Jack Jarvis Esquire, speaking for Huey Casey. I'm afraid he's not available at the moment. I'll be able to explain that for... If I could... If I could just stay at... Yeah, listen, I'd rather you didn't take that tone with me. <laughs> ah, well, you'd have a bloody job wringing his neck. He's in a million bits. <laughs> well, if you want to rummage through the mush to find his neck to ring, you're welcome to try, sir. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Sorry about that. That is an idiot boy that works for Huey. <laughs> Just so you understand, Huey Casey took his own life by ejecting himself from his own living room window. <laughs> That's a very considerate question, sir. Yes, the car is fine. <laughs> you didn't jump on top of it. Right, oh, hold on. They want the car back. Is that the keys there, then? Hi. <clears throat> Can you get yourself to Osprey Heights on Saturday, 2.30? And uh, we'll make sure the car's there. Right, yeah, OK. The fellow was a wee bit concerned because he had two weddings this weekend. Well, that's out of the Monday, eh? Dean Hill. Dean Hill. Do I look as if I enjoy crack? Sorry? Do I look like a junkie? Eh? A dragon chaser? Oh, no. No. Well, I'm going to look at a place in Dean Hill, am I? What about Cravenwood? Cravenwood? 
You're offering me a flat in Cravenwood. Do you get a free shotgun with that, son? Because I'm going to need it in Cravenwood, innit? That's Comanche country. Oh, do you know what, son? Just forget it. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Mr Ingram. I completely forgot. What? Your leg. You're an invalid, aren't you? Ah, am I? I will. If you're interested, you would qualify for a new council house and initiative. Well, keep talking, son. Well, it is in Finport, though. Finport? I used to go there when I was a wane. Well, yeah, lovely big motor, eh? Aye, kept it nice, isn't it? Automatic. Easy to drive, you're automatic. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, so for me, Jack? Bloody hell, you can! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Left here, Jack. You never checked your mirror to see if anyone was behind you. That's because there isn't anybody behind us. Aye. <laughs> twenty twenty hindsight, aye. You see, your job as the driver... Chauffeur? Chauffeur, aye. ...is to convey the passenger effortlessly from A to B without them being overly concerned with being battered up the arse by another car because you never checked your mirror. Nobody will be getting battered up the arse at my shift. <laughs> anyway, if I'm the chauffeur, what does that make you? I will have thought about that. I'll be dealing with the customer, you know, front line, opening doors, the smiling face. You're my boiler room staff, really. I know what your position is. You're the spare prick at the wedding. Oh, dear, Jack. Navi chat. You've shown yourself to be uncouth, unfit to be dealing with the general public. Ah, shut up, you bastard. Just drive, you clown. Call me a clown. Fergie, oh. <laughs> you bloody half-wit. What are you doing in the middle of the road on the cross in there when the, when the wee man's a, a green? Sorry. Oh, hey, man, I just think I spear up my man's. Oh, aye. Bit of a party, is it? No, oh, man, it's for a reception. Are you marrying that wee lassie? Congratulations. Is that Mr Casey's motor? It is, aye. I was going to ask him how much he charges, you know, cos that would have been nice. Pick her up in the big motor and all that, she'll love that, you know. Mm. But he's, uh, he's probably still out of Indy, isn't he? Aye, he did, do. Ah, probably too dear anyway. So, eh, uh, where are you having your reception? Maybe I'll man in my mass. Well, best of luck to you, you Fergie. Fergie! Where is it your girlfriend lives? Mr. Finport. Eh? How dare I know Jack in the house in office? <laughs> Aye, Finport. Well, it's got to be better than this cesspit, hint it? Yeah, well, good for you, Winston. Huh? Very brave to make that kind of decision at your age. A life beside the ocean, huh? Getting to see your horizons rather than just imagine them. That's very nicely put, Navid. My father in law lived inland all his days. Then, as soon as he unloaded Mina onto me, he took his chance and he Started up his own business in the coastal town of Puri, building pedalos. Oh, well, that sounds lovely. Mm. So is he still there? No, he was eaten by a tiger shark. <laughs> there was a reason there weren't any pedalos in Puri, silly bastard. <laughs> I don't think there are any sharks in Finport. Jellyfish maybe, but no sharks. <laughs> Finport? Who's off to Finport? Eh, uh, <clears throat> Adam. Saturday. Oh, nice. How long for? Eh. Uh, well, for good. <laughs> <laughs> for good. Hey, fun for the Christ, eh? What are you laughing at? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave Craig Lang for good and I'm going to set up in Finport. Winston, if you want a break from Craig Lang, why don't you just do what everybody else does to a couple of days in Blackpool? That's right, no. You've got to go a wee bit better. You've got to go the extra mile. Finport. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. That's you all over. That is impulsive. Uh, madcap. <laughs> Another harebrained scheme from Winnie Ingram. <laughs> well. 
I'm glad my plan amuses you. Vid, should I buy it? What's the matter with him? Who are you out of line yet? Well, I don't know. He's your pal, gentleman. You've known each other all your days. But if you feel confident enough to stand there and rubbish him in front of the man that sells him his bog roll, then fine. <laughs> Jeez, oh, you're far on with this. Oh, well, I tell you, I wasn't messing about. And listen, if you've come round here for round two of taking the piss, you can sling your hook. No, well, actually, um, we're here to apologise. Aye, we were out of order. We just didn't think you were serious. Well, I don't want you making any mistakes, you see. I tell you what would be making a mistake. Staying here and festering. You know me. Once I've made my mind up. Aye, but the coast, Winston, I mean, it looks dandy on paper. A lot of people who age think that's the answer. It doesn't it pan out that way, but... Well, apart from that, you're breaking up the old team, you know. For Christ's sake, Jack. What team? Most of the team are dead. You two are more than welcome to stay here in Craig Lang Martin time. But see, this place, it depresses me. It brings me down. I'm sick of the same old faces. Thanks very much, Winston. Look, you know I didn't mean that. I mean, you two are all right, you know. You do your own thing. But me, I'm out. I'll tell you another thing. They're doing a lot of good things down there. They've just put railings right along the front. Oh, new railings. <laughs> Sorry. And a new tea room tea. That'll be good. That's just been done up. I'll be hoaching with widows in the summer. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'll be. Sly old fox in amongst the chickens, eh? <laughs> now look, lads. I'm not asking for your permission, but I want you to be happy for me. Eric's organised a wee drinking Saturday night in the Klansman. A wee sort of cheerio affair, you know, will you come? Well, Eric's organised it, has he? I will come. Uh, of course we'll come. Uh, the Fanny and Finpur. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the other one will be joining them shortly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I hear lads, that's Jack and that's Victor. I'm going to pick your need up tomorrow. How's he doing, all right? Well, oh. we'll buy you a drink. Oh, no, no. You're all right, son. Yeah, we're a wee bit past the stag party age, have we know, hey? Garbage. Looking up to reflections. Going to get full of it. Come on. <laughs> Reflections. <laughs> no. Enjoy yourself, Vilgi. Sound. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, I've to let you know about Winston's drink in here tomorrow night. Yes, Eric, you're all the heroes. We know all about it. See you then. Mm. Poor PM. You've heard about all this, eh, Bobby? Winston going to the coast. Aye. Yeah. Well, that's a mistake. Jealous? Excuse me? You too. Jealous. Winston, don't go. Don't leave us. You're making a mistake. Holding on to his wooden leg. Stay! <laughs> what is it you're on about? You too. You don't like change. I mean, as much as I think he's an arsehole, at least Winston's got balls. The balls to get up and go, make changes. And use. Can he stand it? Pish. It's no pish. Winston's a bull and he wants into the next field. Nothing's going to stop him. Whereas you two are sheep. And Craig Lang is your wee pen. Right. If that's us, what does that make you? Aye. I know what I am. Brainless bastard. The highlight of my day is eating one of my own pies and throwing a few quid into that puggy. I mean, I know I'll not get out of here, but I've made peace with it. Craig Lang is death row. And I am on it. Dead man walking. <laughs> Who nice to that, Victor? He's just pulling your chain. There's plenty of life left in Craig Lang yet. Oh, aye. And what are you two rock stars up to the night when you leave here? Hmm? Close the curtains, 
bed. No, we're going to reflections. Aye. Are we? <laughs> He's going right up that lassie's skirt. Is that allowed? Evidently. I mean, when's the last time you done that? I don't know, but Pat Boone was singing while I was doing it. <laughs> this is murder. Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, now you're all right, Fergie. Oh, come on, get down, these boys, man. Best of gear. No, well, we're not very big on the blue drinks, Fergie. What are they? Electroid. Vodka, Red Bull, and Blue Balls. Oh, that's all we're needing to do. It's blue balls. No, no, we're away. Come on, it's my start night, man. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Jesus, Jack. What am I doing in your bloody house? <laughs> I'll tell you what you're doing in my house. You and I are a couple of party animals. <laughs> Sheep me crazy. <laughs> oh, this is a bollocks right enough. Very strange, though. What's that? Well, generally, if I've been out in a night in a skate, I couldn't face that, but I feel great. Hi. Me and all. I'll tell you why that is. What? See your boozy coloured drinks? We're full of vitamin C and fruit juice. Ah, that'll be why the kiddies drink it, aye? So they can get up nice and early in the morning to go to school. <laughs> Laddie! I remember Sinead when she was a wee lassie. Oh, is that right, aye? Frick, couldn't remember his address. <laughs> That's right, sweetheart. And who are you, the blushing bride? Aye! <laughs> <laughs> who are you, the blushing bride? Oh, shut up, you don't want no tip. For this, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, nearly ready then, eh? Oh, just getting a button put in my trousers, aye. Bastard pinged off this morning when I was trying them on. <laughs> it's a cider, it's a bastard. He's wanting a can! Oh, oh no, 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 no. no. Here she comes, the bride now. Oh, she's got her skin, she's been tangled. That's no skin, that's rind. This way, darling. Laddie, I remember when she knew. Aye, when she was a wee lassie, aye. What you get, darling? Beautiful motor, classy. Where's the other motors? Other motors? Well, we're all getting this. <laughs> Listen, you're fucking being a wee bit selfish with the driving. Would you like to drive Victor now? I'll sit with uh... No, I'm fine, Jack, thanks. <laughs> Not the bus driver. I need to do the scramble. Scramble! Yeah. For God's sake, Dad, how much did you throw out? Three pound and a power card. <laughs> So yeah, what's your knee? That's you. Yes, yes, no. Hi, Damon. Lovely. Thanks, fellas. That was smash. You're welcome. Back the car. Back the car. Please help. Ah, now, uh, the reason the uh, car's uh, warm is the... Um, that, that's because we started it up. We started up. the car up. Yes. Did I? Uh -huh. Because... Um, so because you, we didn't want you getting a, a, a flat battery. Battery. That's right. Winston's drinks. Oh, Jesus. Oh! Oh! Stop! You couldn't uh, drop us at the climb, could you? <laughs> well, I better be off. My taxi comes soon to take me to the bus depot. Hard one for Jack and Victor Winston. They'll no want to miss you. Ach, no. 
They're obviously busy doing something else. Right. Oh, I'll miss you, Winston. Oh, oh. Come on, you. No tears. Remember, I'm only away down the coast. Oh, listen there. Thanks very much for that jumper, by the way. Bobby, thanks for the malt. And Eric, thanks for that smashing set of darts. Sam, thanks for sitting there and watching me getting gifts off everybody else. Not a problem, Winston. Oh, Winston, thank God you're still here. Oh, you finally made it. Uh, we've, we've, we've got you somewhere. Oh, aye. aye, that's right. Eh? Eh, we just wanted to wish you luck. Eh, well, you've been, a, you've been a great pal. It's <clears throat> very nice, that. That's, uh, if you ever need to find your way back. There's a, a compass on the front there. Oh, full tea. Eh? Oh, it's full of lemonade. It was just to give you an idea what weight it would be. It was full of whiskey. Or whatever. Very nice of you, fellas. All right. <laughs> All right. <coughs> right. Well, I guess that's me then. <laughs> right. Okay. Where is he? We ripped that little bastard's lungs out. What the hell's happened? Fergie, stood back your head up. A minute. Where is he? You were one of the last ones to see him. No, we weren't. You were. You took him home. <laughs> Did we? Here we go. Here we go. Finport, aye. Aye. To live. Really? Me too. Is that right? Aye. Well, my husband died last year, so I'm... Um... Sorry to hear that. Oh, no. He left me a fortune, so I'm off to Finport to spend the lot. Oh, aye. And I'm looking for a man to spend it with. But most of all, I'm looking for somebody to attend to these puppies. <laughs> They've been so neglected. 